डी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सिस्टम डी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सिस्टम और जस्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट इट इज अट और ग्रुप ऑफ प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन एंड दीज प्रोटीन आर मेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिवली बाय लिवर दीज प्रोटीन आर प्रेजेंट इन ब्लड इन लिम्फ एंड इन एक्स्ट्रा सेल्यूलर फ्लूड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट सिस्टम इज सो नेम बिकॉज दीज प्रोटीन असिस्ट ऑफ complements the immune cells in destroying pathogens most of these proteins are proteolytic enzymes in the absence of infection they circulate in inactive forms when there is an infection these proteins become active and this is known as complement activation that is when inactive proteins become active it leads to complement activation one important property of complement protein is that they act in a cascade which means one reaction stimulates another reaction which further stimulates another and so on the complement activation leads to three major consequences which help in eliminating the pathogen these consequences are enhanced phagocytosis inflammation and cytolysis we will study each of these consequences in detail later there are three complement activation pathways and these pathways differ in how these pathways are initiated and which proteins are involved so these pathways are the alternative pathway the lectin pathway and the classical pathway before going into details of these pathways it is important here to first understand the nomenclature of the complement system so let us first study nomenclature of the complement system the enzymes of the classical pathways were identified first they are designated by capital letter c followed by a number these numbers indicate their order of discovery there are nine such proteins c1 to c9 in complement system when a protein is cleaved or broken down into two the resulting peptide fragments are designated by adding a lower case suffix that is either a or b suffix a represents that this fragment is the smaller one and suffix b represents that this fragment is a larger one for example complement protein c3 is cleaved and these two fragments are produced the large one is represented by c3b and the smaller fragment is represented by c3a now it is generally the larger fragment that is the fragment with the suffix b which contributes to next enzymatic activity in the cascade thus in this case C3B will contribute to next enzymatic activity. Complement protein C2 is an exception. How? Because in this case the larger fragment is C2A not C2B. So when pro complement protein C2 is cleaved the larger fragment is C2A and the smaller fragment is C2B. we said that in the classical pathway there are nine proteins c1 to c9 now here again there is one exception that is c1 because c1 is not a single protein it is a complex it is a complex of three proteins namely c1q c1r and c1s proteins of the alternative pathway are termed as factors and they are designated by capital letters for example factor b and factor d 